Hello everyone, now I'm going to tie a stonefly pattern that proved pretty well on waters where I was fishing for trout. For the start I'm going to put my hook into the vise and on the hook I have a 4mm copper bead. Of course you can uh, use any color of bead you like but I prefer to use copper on these big flies. And uh, for, for example sunny days I like uh, silver. So for start I'm just ma making a thread layer here and I'm going to go all the way back and I'm going a little bit into the bend of the hook like this. Next material I'm going to use is buggy legs in rust. I'm going to use it as a tail and I'm going to use it as, a, for, as for legs. Just a short piece of it, I'm going to fold it, I'll go back a little bit with my thread and I'll fold it like this, I'll catch it here, like this, and I'll go, I'll put these legs on both sides of the hook without like a lot of pressure right now, I'll just go down, down the hook and then as I go back I'll increase press pressure, that way I'll have my legs where I want them. Next one, because these uh, nymphs are used mostly in, in uh, very high waters, in spring for example when the snow is melting, I'll add a little bit of lead, okay, I'll try to push it a little bit forward but not too much, okay never mind, so I'll, I'll prefer to cut my lead like this. So I'll just push it with my scissors a little bit. Now it has thread below, so it's like pretty difficult to do that. But never mind. Uh, I actually I need some space here for the bead. So I'll try to make it as compact as possible, and then I'll push my thread behind and make taper between my rear end and the lead part here. So this thread will actually push lead and then I'll make the same thing here so it will be pushed from both sides and it won't open as I go tying over it. Now I'll cover it with as thin layer as I can. I want to make a bulky fly but not too bulky. I almost got my thread here. Now I'll add some wire on this fly I'm using purple wire because actually to be honest it's the only wire I have currently with a decent thickness here. So I'm making everything to secure this fly to be right, like rather solid and strong. Now I'll press lead like this and I'll make the shape of a stonefly which you, as you know has this flattened type of body not too important but I like to do it now I'll just secure a little bit of this bead I slide my thread down the bead so it will go against it immediately okay this is it now I can proceed with my next step this is rather big fly, so you don't have to count your reps. It's already, it's not, it's not important at all. Now I will add some. Uh, let me show you. It's called flat body glass. It's for nymphs, so for back cover. And I'll add it like here, and I'll stretch it as I go back. So I just want to secure it very, very tightly, and I'll go stretch it. Okay, now it's time to add some dubbing here. Dubbing, as you know, I'm using this mixture that I've made and I've showed it to you previously in those photos. You can make a mixture of your own. And the important part is to make it almost half body length, maybe a little bit more. So like this. This, sh this won't be enough, but the phone is too close, so I can't actually do it at once.
So I'll add a couple of more wraps here. You don't have to be very, very tight when making these. this noodle. Just cover your thread and afterwards we are going to secure everything with a, a ribbing. So I'll pull my I'll pull those hairs like this down and as, I, as you can see it's like flattened now so I'll put my thumb here two wraps just to secure it I'm not pulling tightly center it now I'll pull tightly and I'll go a few times in front of it just to ensure that it doesn't go away now first wrap you can go around your tail and then do nice ribbing over your body and pull those hairs again to the to down like downwards <coughs> so I make sorry for this I make almost cut full turn and then as I'm below the fly I'll just pull so I'm below the fly I pull and again I do that all the time here I can actually go like this so you can okay this is a little bit in my way I'll just make a couple of turns here secure it and now I will break it off Oh, didn't break where I wanted. Okay, now I did. Okay, now this is first half of the fly. Now go back and catch a little bit of this nymph skin with your thread because you want to make your thorax part here. You can make a nice taper here also. I have a piece of wire sticking out here so it can cut my thread. That's why, okay. Now, for the thorax part, I'll use my own blend of materials. Uh, you can't see it because of the shiny bag. So like this, it's squirrel dubbing, purple dubbing, UV, and some green UV dubbing. So I'll add this to my thread. Okay, now I'll add first a little bit of dubbing to start everything, and then I'll add some legs. So this dubbing is going to be more, it's going to be darker than my abdomen dubbing and that's why I like to make this contrast here. Now to, I'll take two sets of legs, go with my thread with two, three turns like this and just transfer my legs. You can see now everything is as it should be. Now you can apply some pressure and it's good that I'm using the flat thread here and go back a little bit. Flat thread it doesn't cut so much into the gummy legs as uh, the, some thin round thread would. Now the rest of the fly is just to add the pink, cover it, whip finish it. Okay, I'm doing pretty loose noodle here because I want my fly to look as buggy as possible I'll pull those legs back and I'll go into them a little bit with my dubbing and as you can see almost everything is covered I may need just maybe one or two turns in front of these legs so I'll add some more dubbing here so one two like this it should be nice okay now I want my nymph covered here. I don't want to stretch it. I'll just center it, press it with my thumbnail, make two turns, do final adjustments, and then pull tightly. And if it moves like it did just here, I'll correct it. Now I'll go in front of it. I need my hook finish tool. And now, Notice how this part of the nymph skin is going to behave. I'm going to push it back with the thread, so I'm, I'm going to lock it down. 
so it won't pull out and I'm using this brown thread that matches the bead very well but you can also use uh, if you like of course you can use uh, orange thread to make a hot spot this is it now we need to cut those legs to the to some normal size use your body as measurement here don't stretch legs just put them aside like this uh, I'll cut it here and tails just do it like this one more step to do and it's to flatten the fly even more if I can okay you can go with your brush through with, with a brush through a fly to make it look even more buggy so like this and this is going to be a perfect fly for trout thank you very much for watching and see you next time